We're gonna cook something today. Yeah! So, today we're gonna go with something that one of my friends sent in. Uh, a, I think. He changes his screen name a lot, but I reblog stuff from his blog pretty often. We just call him by his old chum handle initials, which stand for Anomalous Entity. He's a alright dude. But yeah, he wanted me to make some black tea cookies. He sent me in a recipe and stuff, so we're working for okay, that. So okay. here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need 70 grams of flour. And for sugar, we need 30 grams of that. And you guys gotta remember that there's a difference between liquid and solid measurements. I don't know. I never really got it, but I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, and also we need 4th teaspoon of ground cinnamon, 4th teaspoon of ground ginger, 4th teaspoon of black pepper, not sure why. And it also wanted 4th teaspoon of cardamom, but I'm not going out of my way just to get some random thing like that, so I'm substituting pumpkin pie spice because it also has cloves in it, which is also needed. And of course we need to cut open two bags of black tea. Just. I don't know, I think these are a lot smaller than usual because they're like Dollar Tree tea things. Might need to go with like three bags for that. Yeah. Okay, turns out I got the conversions all wrong. Looked it up and stuff and apparently 70 grams of flour would be about, I don't know, five eighths a cup? Somewhere around there? Yeah. So let's put that in there. And... The 50 grams of sugar would be about, uh, I think they said a fourth cup. So yeah, we got like fourth cup sugar in here. Dump that in there. Alright, and I think about fourth a teaspoon is like, I don't know, a couple shakes or something. Yeah. I finally have a use for this ginger. I can't believe it, it's amazing. probably got enough. And this pumpkin pie spice. I'd actually gotten it way earlier for my ketchup cake, which I posted on Tumblr a while back. <laughs> there. That's pretty useful. And black pepper. I've never put black pepper in a cookie before. But apparently, it goes for it. We also got half a stick of butter, which is, is four tablespoons. For those that have sticks of butter that aren't exactly the same size. And we need to soften this so that it'll actually be blendable. So, 30 seconds. In the meantime, let's cut open some tea bags. There we go. At least the next request on the list is something I'll actually know that I'll enjoy eating. Because, you know, I'm going to eat everything that I make on here. Okay. So, we got that in there. We got this here. Okay, this, the thing I got this from, like, it says I need to use a food processor, but I don't have a freaking food processor, so I'm just gonna use this blender. I mean, mixer, whatever. Funny story, I wound up buying one of these things for my mom a couple years ago, and like, it only worked like once. And then the next time it was used, like next year or something, it just flat out started smoking. It just wouldn't work. Pretty sure it was just like barely beyond the warranty or something. Got it out of the box. You can probably tell that I severely dislike planned obsolescence. Which is something they tend to do with products nowadays.
doesn't have like any liquid to mention that I'm supposed to add to it, but I'm guessing it'll maybe be a coalescence of some sort of something. I don't know, this is my first time making this. It didn't even have any eggs in it. No oil. No milk. Maybe I read it wrong or something, but like... Where is the rest of the freaking recipe? Or the ingredients? Okay, that's it. I'm cheating. I'm putting in a little bit of milk. Alright, now let's see if this baby works. After I get that off of there. Do not want to have an accident with an accident with the Pyrex container. Come on, give me some dough, give me some dough. For this next part, it. you're going to need some parchment paper. Not wax paper, parchment paper. You can get the stuff at Dollar Tree or whatever. It's actually not that hard to find. I oh, know why you shouldn't be using wax paper? Because it'll melt the wax. And then you'll get like the waxy stuff all over the place. I need to find some scissors. Preheat this to 375. It's kind of tough to get that exactly in there. Come on. Come on. I want. There we go, 375. While we wait for that to preheat, let's start chopping this thing. You gotta be pretty careful with this because it's supposed to be pretty crumbly. gonna be pretty tiny cookies, but eh. I didn't write this recipe, I'm just following it. And they're gonna be more rectangular shaped here, because I didn't want to like make it weirdly misshapen or something going the circle route, but I don't know, I guess it'll look okay. got 10 cookies here. 10 horribly misshapen weirdo cookies. Just gotta put that over there. Well, 
while waiting, I decided to clean up a little bit over here. So that should be good for later. Yeah. We got nine minutes left at this point. Okay, so we got this in here. Like, they're pretty squishy. I guess now, wait for them to uh, cool down or something, I think. So there we have it, a uh, bunch of tea cookies. They look like dog food, but they taste alright. 